Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big Porky here. The voice of hardcore boxing. Shout out to Stephen Davey from Plymouth, Devon. Used to do security for Scott Dan. I hope you're well Steve. Uh, thank you for your kind comments. Uh, I'm so sorry to hear that you've, you've got cancer mate, it's not nice. Especially for someone in the late 40s. Uh, so I hope you're well. I hope you have a great Christmas with your family. Uh, I've been thinking about you today and I'm saying a prayer for you, Steve. So I hope you're well. Uh, it's not very nice cancer. Uh, not nice at all so I'm trying to be positive for you mate uh, even though I'm known as Mr. Negative I just hope you're gonna be alright mate so in other news uh, I'm just on my way out to meet Dennis two o'clock it's five to two All chasing about you have to do at this time of year. You've got presents to drop off, off all over the place here. Yeah? Uh, I hope AJ is watching. I've got some presents in Boutique Car for you, AJ, for you and your PA and your last Nicola. We're in Boots. I uh, hope I get done here. Couple hour with Dennis, then I'm gonna come and see you, AJ. I hope your scrapyard's open. Dennis is shut today. I don't know if it's a scrapyard thing where you're all shut on a on a, you packed up on Friday. So we'll see, won't we? But if not, you'll have to have a mint new year, AJ. As I come to your house for a dip in your 25 meter pool, I'll jump in the pool, AJ, and all water will jump out. Now I don't dive me AJ, I just B-O-M-B -B. When you go to swimming baths you see them cartoons on the wall and it shows you a picture it says No running! That was Porky when I was about 12 at Edlow Bath No running! Porky no running! Oh, no. Boom! Slipped, banged my head, fell into the water It's a nice feeling when you bang your head and fall into water It's quite soothing but no running, no bombing, no. Uh, I remember one sign. You know, I used to go to baths when I was about eight, and it said, "No petting." And I was like, "Mum, what does that mean? No petting?" She said, "Well, what does it say there?" And as it shows you a woman and a man, and it's got pictures of love hearts, you know, behind it. I'll never forget. No petting. <laughs> Stuck with me for years, that. But. Little things amuse small people with small brains like me. Shout out to Nicky Smedley and Luke. How are you doing? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to Mick and Josh. Richard Towers, Cash Alley, Lynn Rhodes, Super Tommy Frank. Don't think Tommy Frank will be getting sending me a Merry Christmas porky, will you Tommy? Or Tommy's family, because I said Tommy's got beat in his other fight. How dare I? Look, well, maybe sometimes I should have a bit of filter. I ain't got a bit of tact, have I? Sometimes I just say things and worry about it after, but I don't know. It's one of them things, isn't it? But I get on alright with Glyn, so I hope he's alright. I like Tommy as well, but sometimes you just gotta tell it as you see it. You know what I mean? First 10 minutes are always good when I go see you, Dennis, because I'm always like, if you don't speak to me, I'm like, what have I done? But I, mean, I just don't seem to tell me off. I seem to get away with murder, don't I? I don't know why. I don't know why. I do get away with a lot. Uh, I do get away with a lot. I don't know, just, maybe I'm Dennis's favourite. I don't know. Maybe it's. Uh, 
Now I'm not Dennis's favourite. Terry Chapman down as Dennis's favourite. It's Dennis and Terry. Bromance. Terry loves Clinton Woods, don't you Terry? Terry is a closet Clinton Woods fanboy. What an hard man though. Here's a fact for you. There's only three fighters in the IBF history at light heavyweight that have held the world title longer than three years. But no 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 longer than four, between three and four years. That's Tarveris Cloud, Roy Jones, and guess who else? You've got it, yours truly. Clinton Woods. So you've got Roy Jones, pound for pound superstar, and Clinton Woods from Sheffield fought Roy Jones. That's like fighting Mayweather now, isn't it? Tarveris Cloud, a Don King fighter. Who Clinton could have Clinton should have beat him that night, but he had an ear, he had something wrong with his ear. We're oozing out all sorts of stuff, but if he'd have put foot down a bit in the in last tw couple of rounds, he'd have think he'd have got him out there. See, so nearly collapsed in the dressing room, Cloud. Uh, put these on. Tarver's Cloud, and like I said, Clinton Woods, promoted by little Dennis Hobson off at, off at Stradbrook. Little Dennis off at Stradbrook, on it then. Little Den Den off at Stradbrook. We one of only three fighters, like I've just said. Who oh, well IBF 175 pound title longer than three years. Mike Tyson only held world title 39 months. So for that, Clinton Woods should be in Hall of Fame, but yeah, he don't get a mention yet again. Four wins of a world champions. Sugar Ray Leonard and Marvin Agler only had seven. Clinton had four. And look who Clinton's four. He had nine world title fights over a seven year period. I went right away. Nine world title fights over a seven year period from Roy Jones all the way up. Trilogy with Glenn Johnson, Rico Oi. Tarver, Roy Jones, Trilly, Glenn Johnson, Rico Oi, Tarver, Tarver is Cloud, and there's two more. The one with Gonzalez, and there's another one. Like I said, uh, seven year, seven year at the top end, dining at the top table. Little Clinton Woods from Sheffield, and little Den Den off at Stradbrook. And I think that nobody gives Dennis enough respect for that. Everybody just seems to talk about Ricky Hatton, but I don't want to pee on Den's bonfire. So sorry, Den, but Ricky Hatton were already there, wasn't he, when you got him? He was just out of contract, wasn't he, with Frank? So Ricky Hatton was already a world champion when you got him. Clinton Woods wasn't. He's somebody that you won an area belt with, and Clinton were very happy with that. But what you did. Same with Jamie McDonnell, I mean, what a fighter he was, Jamie McDonnell. You wouldn't trust him as far as you could throw him. I wouldn't trust you, Jamie. You couldn't live in my world. No, 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 no. I don't want you sat around my pals. I'd have to sit with me back against war with you, Jamie. You know, I've gone the wrong way now. How can I go the wrong way? Let's have a look. Manor. Manor Top. I'm lost now. At a Cliff Hyde Park. Let's have a look. It's the silly season, isn't it, for car accidents? December. Let's have a look. Six mile. Yeah, so one of them things in it. It's uh, estimated time of arrival: 16 minutes past two. Oh God, that's gonna go down well, isn't it? I'm going on one of Den and Den's shortcuts now. Through. Let's have a look. 
I'm sure I'd been up here somewhere when you kissed Madeline's brother. All oh, say to me, Sheffield. There's quite there's hills, isn't there, in Sheffield? Loads of hills. Right, what I want to talk about is I'm gonna get first video out at way out at 25. So have a look. Is boxing messed up? Right? Is boxing messed up? For example, I know I've mentioned this before, but not like I'm gonna mention it today. For example, people keep going on about, oh he's got a great story, or he does tickets and Look, whatever happened to, can he fight or not? Can the guy fight, yes or no? I don't want to hear about where he does tickets or he's popular on Twitter or he's got a great story because all these stories that these fighters have got, they're all, they all seem to be invented or it's all a load of crap. It's all a load of crap that they're doing. So, no one gets by old me, does it? I'm sorry, but... I don't want to hear any of this Shannon Courtney carry on, please. I'll get to her in a bit, but... Anthony Joshua, people keep going on about him like he's some god. But he's got the best CV out of all heavyweights in world at the moment. He's got four of the five belts, so I put him at number one. Sorry, but... I don't want to, but he's got five wins over world champions. Wilder and Fury have got two. And look who they beat, Vladimir in his 40th year and a blown up cru cruiserweight in Cunningham. Wilder beat Stavern, who'd not beat a champion, then he beat him in a rematch, so that's it. That is it! Yeah, he'd beat Ortiz twice, but he'd never been a champion, and who was Ortiz beat? Yeah, very good boxer, but... So, that's it, AJ's got the best resume, and let me tell you this, AJ's been wrapped in cotton wool, but they've managed to get him there, haven't they? And manipulate it and it's so easy he's the number one I'm sorry but I don't want to hear about this great story AJ Anthony Joshua's story is he was a drug dealer and he was a, a criminal he battered somebody battered him senseless bashed the, he bashed somebody up really bad now uh, fair enough you know they all went to court and they all saved his neck didn't they because they, they knew they had something good going didn't they so McCracken and everybody got together and they got all sorts of people involved and they got him off at court, so that's good and I don't like to see a man go to jail for drugs or, or fighting, but he weren't really fighting, was it? He weren't really fighting because I know the kid who he did. I don't know him personally, but I've, I know of him, I've been told, so he wasn't, he wasn't as big as Joshua, put it that way. But it's one of them things, isn't it? It's if you get involved in gang stuff and that, but I don't want to hear another person say to me, he's got a great story though, look how he turned his life around. Well, what about Josh Whale? What about Josh Whaler, the outlaw? Hey? He's from a council council estate as well. He's never been in trouble. Josh Whale's not been in trouble. He's not took so he's not sold drugs. Do you know what I mean? He's not filled anybody in. You know, unless it's in a boxing ring, in a fight or a sparring, he's not filled anybody and he's not been in a police cell. He works with troubled youths for a very, for, you know, not a massive wage. You know, he, he does charity stuff. You know, he, he's a popular kid. What about his story? Whatever happened to being a good fighter and, go, and going through levels? Instead of all this, he's got a great story or he's been, he's been in jail too weak or. You know, he's, he's funny on Twitter or he does a few tickets. Whatever happened to his come through system and he's kept his head down and he's had nothing giddy. him. Whatever happened to that for a great story? The camera's all over here, man. Whatever happened to that for a great story, eh? That's what I want to know. <laughs> she were all right. Whatever happened to, that's a great story, Josh Whaley, you know, 11 defeats, and you could probably say f five of them it, it could have gone the other way, you know what I mean, and, you know, bits of bad luck, bad injuries, and the two draws in his record are shockers, shockers, but he's bounced back, hasn't he, he's bounced back, he's had 13 blemishes on his record and there should only probably be six 
but he's bounced back. What about that for a great story, eh? I'm not just saying that because I would want Dennis's case to sign him. I just want to see it getting shared out a little bit. It's like poor old Tom Little. Every, he's got a great story. Everybody's got a story. Even you people that are following me, you've all got a great story. Everybody has. We're all from somewhere, aren't we? But I don't want to hear about, well, he was dealing drugs and that and he turned his life around. Jesus. Do me a favour. Do you know what I mean? Do me a favour. As old Fish Eyes Frank says. So no. He ain't got a great story. Rotten to the core, bully, sullen. Yeah, he's a nice. Yeah, he's a nice guy. Always great. Yeah, he's gonna be great. 150 million in bank. Do you know what I mean? He's got an MBE and an OBE and a like. <laughs> I'm not gonna say this media guy's name because he's a bigger trick media and he go mad. But you know, I've heard that the the putting it 122 Asda. Gee. 122 up here, diesel. Can't believe that's done me nothing now. I've just filled up at 124. Uh, I've been told that the, the <laughs> right, and this is you can you can quote me on this because nobody else dare mention it. When you put forward somebody for this, you're not allowed to tell anybody. But people are talking to right people, right? He's got an MB and an OBE, and they're wanting him knighted. Now I've been told that they were told he's a bit too young to be knighted. They've not even knighted Beckham yet. But the fact that they're even talking about it is unbelievable. It's shocking, isn't it? It is shocking. I mean he's just fought in New York for the money and he's just fought in Saudi for the money. Both fights I've been told netted him net. Not top line, net, right? 100 million. 100 million dollars, net. That's after everything. 100 million dollars, net. So he's a tenth at way there on two fights to being a billionaire. They're going to fight while he's 40. And let me tell you this, he might just end up a billionaire in dollars. Plus he'd already, he were already worth, what was it, 70 million dollars. So he's worth 170 million dollars, net. There you go, and look what Tom Little got paid. What it 0.0 3% or something? Oh my god. But he's great for British boxing. So don't talk to me about Anthony Joshua being great for British boxing. Porky, you're a hater! Porky, you're a hater! No, I'm not a hater. I'm just telling you straight. Climb out at back of him. Climb out at the back of him. Alright? If you can climb out, because there's not much room up there with that AKA skins, because he's permanently living up there, we had the urn. So there ain't much room for anybody else. But like I've just said, no. Not my cup of tea, AJ. Manufactured fighter, but he's here to stay and we're in the weakest ever era. It's the it's the weak era from the Tim Witherspoon era. era. Pinkland Thomas. Bone Crusher Smith, Tony Tubbs, that era. This is another one of them eras. Now, they're all laying claim to it, aren't they? Tyson Fury, Wilder and Joshua. They've all probably got a claim to say they're number one. But there's only Tyson and Wilder fighting each other, isn't there? Joshua don't want any of the other two, but we'll, we'll get to that over these videos over the next couple of days, because you're going to be in for a proper treat. You're going to be in for a treat. There's going to be 25 videos going out between now. This is first one. Ooh, now and New Year's Day. 25 videos you're going to get. So you're all going to get a treat, aren't you? Who knows? I might even do an interview up here with Dennis now, but we'll see. But we'll see. Uh, probably be eating his dinner but it's all good positive stuff uh, I've got some great ones I'm gonna hammer bean in one of them as well bean needs a Christmas hammering 
there's helmets one to do but that's going to be done right at end of month 2.2 uh, .2 mile to go so it's all good positive stuff let's get that lot to go through look what's that say there 25 25 26 26 videos sorry 26 oh, oh. you know what the 26 one is don't you bean out beans gotta go and your beans but i'm gonna save that for end of year that's an end of year blast i've got a corker one coming out with that but it's all good positive stuff channels flying at the moment not regards video because i haven't done that for a week have i but as regards behind the scenes, loads of stuff happening and it's quite overwhelming at, at times. But it's all good positive stuff. So, so peace out, keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing. Say a prayer for Stephen Davey, will you? I've not met him yet but he's a genuine guy and I hope him and his family are going to be okay. Awful thing, cancer. And, like I said, there's some stuff wrote out here for rest of rest of the week, so I'm going to be really busy. But tonight, I'm going to treat myself to going out. I'm going to let rip tonight. Called letting it go in Tokyo. When they let these rocket launchers go, it's KO. So, all right. So, thanks for tuning in. Do apologise to the people, Craig from Coventry and a few others who were texting me, asking when videos are out. Shout out to my pal Rico, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to everybody that follows me as well. But So, wait, pulling up here now. So, it's to see you, Dennis. So, alright, have a good Christmas.